Hello everyone, Matt Thompson reporting from the Epworth Hospital where Andrew Cracker has just visited with Dr Julian Faller to discuss the option of Lars surgery. Of course, in what Mick Moldhouse has described as a sporting tragedy, Cracker making his return in a practice match on the weekend, injured his knee, rupturing his anterior cruciate ligament and now faces a year of rehab on the sidelines if indeed Lars isn't an option. So that's being discussed inside at the moment. Andrew Cracker very tight-lipped as he departed the Epworth Hospital. Didn't want to say anything to reporters waiting here. Obviously a very anxious time for him. Now added to all of this for Andrew Cracker is the situation that he currently faces mentally. We know that he had taken leave from the Pies. Uh, indefinite leave it was and it was a bit of a surprise in fact that he even returned to the training track last week. This is an incredible setback for him. A little earlier we spoke to Dr Peter Larkins, the veteran sports medico. His view on this is very, very interesting. From Andrew Cracker's perspective, 12 months of rehab is going to be very, very tough. But then by the same token, there's mixed reviews about whether or not the Lars surgery works. Great. Absolutely. Look, you know, part of, the, part of the stress of coming back from an new reconstruction is the psychological stress. You know, you talk to all the players that have been back and they doubt whether they're going to get back. Some of them never play as well. We always say it's a two-year injury, not a one-year injury. You might get back and play the first year, but you don't perform well necessarily. So there's a lot of psychology involved in that. And if, you're a, if you've got other issues playing on your mind, which Crackers had well documented, I also made the point that, you know, with all these off-field issues, you know, the 12-month process would be another stress that perhaps he wouldn't want to look at if he goes traditional. Dr Peter Larkins there, so whatever the case, the football future for Andrew Crackett does look bleak. We'll keep you posted with the very latest here at afl.com.au.